the actual final game, taking this whatever it is. Monster Maker 2. Could be anything. Probably going to be something we don't spend much time on. But that's exactly what we're looking for. So let's find out what it is. There's someone named Uru involved. That may be the uh, kanji for quest or adventure or something along those lines. I don't honestly know. Way down in the This is one of those types of games where you explore, or where everything is all card based, where you move a square and it flips over and you see what's there and you explore in that fashion. And there's someone named Zeal involved. Presumably him. And there are eight monsters. And that one says... I did not get a chance to read what that said. Mon Mon. M A N M O N. Interesting. And there's Karumon and Daimon. And there is someone named Vina. Sure, Vina. Sounds like a good name for her. Um, well, we can go with a dog or a cat. Which should we go with? <laughs> okay, going with a kitty. And the pet's name is... Do we have Kana? No, we don't have Kana. Or maybe we do. So what's our pet's name? Any particular reason for that name? I think I'm just going to go with what Purple suggested. <laughs> so, uh, there's TA with an extension to turn it into an R, and then where did you go? There we go, Turbo. Apparently, Vina is a princess. And we have a guy named Koran. So this game has apparently a lot of story going on. I can't say I'm particularly surprised. Um, it seems almost every single Japanese game I run into has a lot of story. It's a matter if it's a platform or, or a racing game or this kind of RPG-esque type thing, it's going to have a ton of dialogue. Hey, no, I'm not the one that called the princess. The game called the princess. So we have RPG-style stuff going on. We can buy a rapier, or a sword. Yeah, why not? Let's just buy one rapier. Almost broke at this point, but, you know. So we have item, monster, magic, and, what's that say? Camp? Let's 
says states. And I don't know what this other is. There's save. I'd imagine they were the uh, king and the queen sitting on that throne that I didn't bother to go and talk to. And it doesn't look like we can actually make use of the rapier yet. So we have an inn, and we have a pub, and we have an armor shop. I'm just gonna wander... Okay, I cannot wander out yet. It's gonna be that kind of RPG. In other words, a kind of game where we're not going to actually be able to get out of this first town, because I don't know what he told me to do. Maybe it's the kind of thing where we have to talk to people, and, you know, not being able to fully comprehend the language. I don't know what's expected of me before I can get out of this town. Why do you keep linking things, Hack? What? What use am I to make of this? Well, that's presumably some kind of temple or church or chapel or cathedral or place where you can maybe revive the dead, maybe do other kind of things that those types of places perform in this kind of RPG. There's someone named Elsam involved. And that's... No, I, I'm not even going to hazard a guess at that name. Well, since she also mentioned it, or was that a she? Yeah, since she also mentioned it, uh, there was a name involved, Dan Shinane. Don't know quite what that might mean, or who that might be. Still can't leave, now that I'm particularly surprised. Uh, I don't need an in currently. I'm not going to waste my money, even though we won't be playing this particularly longer. Well, I guess we should talk to the people in the castle. Oh lord, that music. That's just grating. Yeah, exactly like that, Mushroombo. Oh hey, we do have a B-dash. Oh, you can't go into the treasure vaults. Oh, hey, we can switch characters with the uh, select button. That's kind of cool. Oh, we are armed with a rapier and wearing a dress. He has a sword, laser armor, and a laser guard. Or either laser or razor. Probably, uh, presumably, razor. Since I don't think lasers quite exist in this world. Although why it would be called razor, I'm not entirely certain. Can't go down there, apparently. Oops. Something happened. As I say, Vina is... Oh, Vina's vitality and magic have done something. Presumably gone up. So this is apparently the king and queen. And she mentioned something about the pet. Queen asked about our pet.
Oh, we're still level one. So now can we exit? We can exit now. Interesting. So, in this type of thing, if I am not mistaken, wherever we walk, a card will be flipped over and reveal stuff, either just blank path or monsters to fight. Or I could be entirely wrong and it's not that kind of game at all. Most interesting. I think he's telling me we can't go this way. This! Here we go. This is what I was talking about, yes. We walk up, we flip the card. We walk up, we flip the card. And by doing this, the path is revealed. We get choices in the path. We get monster battles. Attack. Okay. We killed a snake. And we found... a tomb. And Vina did something. I guess maybe took an item, or... I'm not even certain. Okay. A Roba. Could a Roba be? So we had the first option was fight, and the second option was attack. A rover. Someone who roves. And a monster. So we hired the monster. So she's at 0 out of 34 HP. And he's perfectly healthy. So, I'm just going to keep going because I am not particularly invested in this game. We have three um, fox wolf sort of hybrid creatures here, and they are all named O Kami. Two O's and then Kami. So, yeah, O Kami. I'm going to do 30 damage one attack, and then two in the next, and then one in the next. What kind of sword are you holding there? Well, uh, Vina's status there says Gutari, which means completely exhausted, dead, tired. So she is not actually dead. She is just exhausted. Oh hey, we found something. It's more. And it's a ghost. No actual name, it just says ghost. And it didn't attack just now. It just said, wahahaha. There it attacked. So it's kind of fun having a creature that will sometimes just choose not to attack, just that they're laughing. The other thing it was doing was 
presumably casting a spell or something called uh Conron, uh disorder, chaos, confusion. Hey, we found something. And he took seven damage from it. So yeah, I am honestly not a fan of this kind of card style exploration system. forest there, apparently. What's this? A uh, pack. Or puck. Puck! It's puck. The, um, puck the satyr. Uh, in the sense of a uh, character from Midsummer's Night Dream. I think that was a level up. Oh my lord, he's level 6. <laughs> well, well then. So there is... Majo the Witch. Yep, uh, Majo literally translates to Witch. And she's casting a Flame Spell. So we're probably gonna get killed here, but that's to be expected. This is the boss. I've done no leveling whatsoever, and one of my characters is already dead. Or exhausted, as it were. Holy crap! <laughs> so... We win! And now she has leveled up! Even though she's been basically out of battle the entire time. And we now have, let's that say, really, we now have Lufia, the witch, on our team. Dear lord. Yes indeed, Lufia. And where is that? Maseki. What's a Maseki? And our cat is talking. Can't say I'm surprised at this point. What is a Maseki? I don't know what a Maseki is. It does not translate, apparently. Okay, going into auto-fire. Oh, right as we're going to auto-fire, we're done! Was that again? Kosuri Bean. Uh, Kosuri Bean is medicine. So is anyone still actually damaged? Or did all that leveling up? Okay! So all that leveling up, wow, she gained two levels at once, and got fully restored and healed. Yeah, if you're into this style of card exploration RPG, and you understand a modicum of Japanese, this is pretty damn decent. Ooh, dear. Spiders. Lots of HP. Let's look for the word Nigeru, since that means run! Or, ah, yes. And I accidentally hit the button too quickly, and we are in attack mode again. Nigeru! Run away! Oh, right, that was the spiders. We don't want to deal with the spiders. Run away in the actual away direction. Hmm. Yeah, 
does not look like I can get back through there, but that's okay. Have him drink some. Hey, he regains some HP. Oh, it's a slime. Correction, it is a slimy. That <laughs> doesn't say MU, it says MI. So rather than just slime, it actually is slimy. Hey, hey, Vina. Did no? But didn't say level up. What did that say? Well, we're apparently out of that section, so now we go back to dialogue. Oh, that same saying we can't go any further in that direction. Oh well. Maybe now we can go this way? Maybe not. I suppose now we are supposed to return home and, you know, say we won and such like that. Yes, that does appear to be the case because we can't go anywhere. We still don't have any monsters, so apparently we did not pick up a monster in that field. Wait, what? Oh, I had to hit the button. Okay. So yeah, we'll just do this and then probably give up on this because <laughs> I cannot go through this entire thing. Apparently the king is named Pengu. No, Bengu. There we go. That is, that is a B, not a P. Bengu. But honestly, this is pretty nifty for this kind of RPG style game. Yeah, I'm still not a big fan of the whole card exploration kind of thing, that's just not my bag, but it's a pretty cool system, honestly. And it's just my dialogue, so I say, Vishnas. Yeah, Vishnas. Okay, talk with her. Nothing particularly interesting. Now we can go wherever, so... Let's go to one of these. Hey, there's another castle! So, yeah, traditional RPG style, there are other towns to go to. Pretty nifty. Presumably they have problems to solve, and such sort like that. And it's a castle! A castle overrun with monsters. We'll see if we can get killed quickly, and if not, then, you know, we'll just exit out. There's a harpy. We got a lot of HP now, though, so I'm thinking that the exit out thing will be the more likely scenario. Let's say, oh, sleeping! So yeah, she put the entire thing, uh, party to sleep in one attack. So yes, as mentioned, it's looking very unlikely that- oh my god, we have a lot of money all of a sudden. Looking very unlikely that we will be killed here anytime soon, so... This has been Monster Maker 2, a pretty nifty little RPG. One where I actually managed to get somewhere in it. Um, let's see, Puck, Okami, and what is that? Katoshi. Well, I don't know who or what a Katoshi might be, so we'll just run. So yes, this has been Monster Maker 2. Hope you enjoyed. Check it out yourself if you're into this kind of thing.